dungeon man. Uh-oh. Visit from royalty. This is Marine Harvey, who will be with you from now on. And has just rejoined us before going back to his command, our number four brigade. So I expect you'll be interested to know what he has to tell you about your future unit. What are they doing? Which commander's really good? They were at Walker, aren't they? Is it right what they say about Luther? Oh, and you always think of that. Job, you would think of that. <clears throat> And those boots issued, they're rubber soles, aren't they? Yes, they're what we call SVs. Jolly come creeping about in. Hi guys, so as you've heard, these are called uh, SVs, or Boots SV, uh, more properly. The, they're an adaption of the British Army ammo boot that was introduced in the Second World War uh, around 1940, primarily with the intention of them being used by uh, commandos had been formed that year, uh, as the hobnailed ammunition boot was not ideal for their purposes. So they are fitted with a what has now become known as, and was marketed post-war as, the Commando Sole, made by Isthide, uh, Is Itshide, uh, Itshide I think, yeah sorry I'm not... Uh, I've never actually had. I've never actually tried to pronounce that word before. I've only ever read it. Um, so it shied, uh, and as you can see there, uh, commando, and the heel, uh, which is fitted separately in these boots, is also called C commando. Um, these were a, a recent, fairly recent purchase, and they are uh, post-war examples of the boot. The um, so say they were introduced in 1940 and were used through into the 1960s certainly uh, when the DMS boot came out and they were uh, used by commandos primarily I believe they're also used by airborne forces to a degree um, they are the, the rubber sole gives several advantages over hobnails um, the biggest one really is is quietness uh, as mentioned in the clip at the start of this uh, video they are much quieter on on the on the ground than than hobnails are and they are uh, they're also better obviously when it comes to scrambling on rocks and things and obviously the seaborne raiding sort of role that the commandos uh, were intended for um, th that was an important aspect and certainly for the Royal Marines Royal Marine commandos after the war uh, it was uh, an exceptionally important uh, feature of the boots. The the soles are screwed in place, uh, nailed as well in the on the toe here. Um, I'm not sure if that's a feature of wartime boots as well. You can see these here, they aren't they aren't dated but they, they are almost certainly uh, well they are certainly post war as you can see they've got uh, Phillips head screws rather than flat head uh, and also obviously with having the, the sole uh, marked up with the sort of post war um, uh, branding and everything. Uh, I will. Uh, um, I'll bring in a, a, an ammo boot now and can compare the uppers and see uh, that they are essentially just the the ammo boot with this rubber sole fitted. But we'll have a look at how the sole's fitted and just run over that. So here we have the SV boot compared like for like with um, the ammo boot. As you can see, the seams and so on are exactly the same with this the heel seam here, and the seam down here, and the toe cap. Um, the stitching on the toe cap is also the same. Uh, so it is just the sole which is different. The uppers are exactly the same. And the SV, uh, the commando sole was used on a different type of boots, which I'll do another video on, called the Colbert Weather Boot. And uh, the Colbert Weather Boot is a somewhat different shape. The SV boot is essentially just an ammo boot with the rubber sole attached. If we look at the sole of the ammo boot, obviously here are the, the hobnails and the toe plate and heel plate uh, and you can see the two layers of leather there and the leather heel and two, three, uh, four actually in fact sorry uh, and then the metal heel plate beneath on the SV boot you have the one layer of leather and then the rubber attached to and the rubber sole runs right up around the heel there's then one layer of leather added, and then the rubber heel is screwed on. So that's sort of the anatomy of the uh, the SV boot. Um, and these were used, as I say, uh, right through into the 1960s uh, and beyond. You also see, interestingly, DMS boots with the 
presumably with the, the rubber sole uh, flattened, smoothed off, you know, taking a cut off, and then these uh, commando soles, the cleated, heavy cleated rubber sole, uh, screwed on in some cases, but uh, attached onto the uh, the DMS boot. So they are obviously the sole is still used on modern uh, assault boots and things. Um, until recently, the British Ar Black British Army assault boot, which has been replaced by all the brown leather types. Um, the commando sole was present on those boots so it's it's a very it has proved to be a very popular and obviously it is a very good uh, overall design so there we are i uh, hope you found that interesting and until next time bye for now